Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my makeup wish list video for like November, December months. I filmed one of these videos a couple of months ago or maybe a couple of weeks ago, I don't even know. And you guys really seem to enjoy hearing about what items are on my makeup wish list. So I am gonna do it again. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Definitely leave me your wish list items because you guys know I love talking to you down there. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. So the first thing on my wish list, I can't imagine any of you will be surprised to find this out, but I am so excited for the Melt Holiday Collection. They are coming out with liquid lipsticks, eyeliners, brushes, two eyeshadow palettes, and a illuminating blush. So I am so excited. I think me, Angelica, and Amy collectively screamed when we saw that they were sneak peeking this collection, and I am so excited to get my hands on it. So I definitely want the two eyeshadow palettes. I'll throw up pictures in case you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, and I will try and remember to link all my wish list items down in my description box as well. Some of those links will be affiliate type links, not affiliates, but like commissionable links, so I will make like a small amount if you guys do shop with my links, which is always appreciated because it helps me throw money right back into my YouTube channel. So thank you if you guys use my links. I totally appreciate it. Some of you guys are so sweet and you actually like leave me comments saying you use my links. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, I'm so excited for this milk collection. OMG, you guys like the palettes look delicious. Definitely the one that is the Morte, Morte palette, I believe, is like the blues and the reds. And I've been following the Melt owners and they've been doing such gorgeous looks with these palettes that I cannot wait to get my hands on them. So excited. And the Vita palette definitely looks like green palettes I kind of already own, but I'm very, very excited because it has like a really bright greens and a beautiful green shimmer as well. So really excited and then I'm so excited for the illuminating highlighter it's like a pinky gold looks delicious I have their Genesis one that I recently picked up and so I'm so pumped to have all of those items they are very pricey though the two eyeshadow palettes are $58 and the highlighter is $39 oh my gosh so expensive <laughs> but definitely what I am looking forward to the most as we come to the end of 2019. The next thing on my list is the Terra Moon Cosmetics duochromes or multi-chromes. My friend Amy Loves Makeup has been raving about Terra Moon and I believe Angelica also recently picked up some eyeshadows from them. Angie's order hasn't come in yet to her so I haven't seen a video from Angie yet but Amy did a full swatch party of the ones she got and Oh my god, it was so delicious. Amy was like so shook when she was watching those eyeshadows. She was like forgetting her words. Like I will try and remember to link that video so you guys can go watch it. But they are coming out with some gorgeous shades on Black Friday or like Thanksgiving. And the shade Snow Globe is definitely on my wish list as well as Harvest so far. And I need to rewatch Amy's video and write down other shades that caught my eye from her swatches. So very, very excited for the brand Terror Moon. The next thing that I really, really want, and gosh, I hope this palette launches soon because I hate waiting, is the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Rose, which is her mothership number seven, I believe. It was launch limited on the Selfridges app. So Selfridges is like a British department store and it launched exclusively on the Selfridges app. So I did get the app and I put it in my cart and then I went to check out and there were only two shipping options. It was $30 or you got years worth of shipping for $55. And I've seen a lot of other YouTubers pay the $50 shipping, which makes sense for them because most of them buy more luxury products and apparently Selfridges does sell a lot of like Tom Ford and stuff like that and you can get it for a little bit more of a discount than if you were to buy it here in the US. So I can see how that would be appealing for them and apparently the $55 shipping, the express shipping is actually really good and they got their products fast because I did watch some reviews on the Divine Rose palette. So I'm just anxiously waiting for it to come to the US, if she doesn't launch it in the US, it is what it is. At the end of the day, it is just eyeshadow, like I'm not gonna like die over it, but I'm definitely very envious of everyone that did pick it up. 
when it launched at Selfridges, but I was not gonna pay $150 for a Pat McGrath palette. I like to buy them either on her website, cause she typically does like a 10% discount on launch day, or I'm gonna buy it on Sephora so I can either use, you know, get some points or something. Yeah, I wasn't gonna buy it from Selfridges, but I'm really appreciative of the YouTubers that did, that bit the bullet and bought it, cause now I can't wait to buy it myself cause it looks Gorgeous! I love it so, so much. So the next thing on my wish list is the Cleonade Stained Glass Collection. Now I did pick up their Jewel Multichromes. They did do a little bundle of the Jewel Multichromes. So I do have six of those shades already in my collection. And I wanted to try the glitters as well as the iridescent shimmer shadows that they had because Angie and Amy had both recommended those two formulas to me. So I was like stressing, I was watching all the swatch party videos, oh my god. It was a lot of work, but they did do a restock on November 4th, and your girl was ready, so I did pick up more eyeshadows from Cleonade, and I'm sure that when they get here, you guys will see them. I am expecting that I won't get them for a couple of weeks just because of processing, and they are a very small indie brand, so excited and waiting for that order to come through. So the next thing on my wish list is one that I think will just live on my wish list, but I won't actually end up buying, but it's the new Milani Holiday Palette. It's like a gold, what is that palette called? I can't remember, but I'll throw up a picture for you guys, and it is $20. Now, I really like the few eyeshadow palettes I have tried from Milani, especially those new ones that they've came out with called like the Gilded the J Jade Gilded Jade palette or something. I tried that one. They have an all shimmer palette that's really good. Like they've really been stepping up their palette game. And I'm so happy that regular people that shop at the drugstore have access to good eyeshadow because I feel like eyeshadow was one of those areas that the drugstore doesn't really shine at. So very excited for that, and this palette looks gorgeous. I literally added it to the cart on the launch day, and I was like, Karen, no. Like, no, you are not gonna buy this. You don't need another eyeshadow palette. So I did, I was good. I didn't buy it, but gosh, do I want it. It looks beautiful. If you guys get it, let me know what you guys think of that palette. The next thing that is on my wish list is the P. Louise base in the shade Snow. It is sold out everywhere as far as I can tell. I was recently at a Morphe store, so I was able to pick out my skin tone shade. This is number five Rumor, um, because I really wanted to try this formula because everyone raves about it, and P. Louise is now being sold at Morphe stores. So I was glad I was able to try it out or swatch it in store and buy it and not pay for shipping, but Snow is sold out on the Morphe site, so hopefully I'll be able to pick it up when that restocks. If you guys have a store that has snow in stock in your area, DM me, because I might be willing to buy that from you. Let me know. So the next thing I really want to buy are the Nabla highlighters. There is a red highlighter and a pinky highlighter that I really, really want. I think one is called Adults Only, and the other one is called... Truth, I believe, those are the two I really, really want. They also came out with like the goldeny highlighters, but I definitely have plenty of those. You guys know I'm really obsessed with like shimmery blushes, so I feel like this would definitely check that box. They are available on Beauty Bay, and I'm considering it, but I also saw that they did come to Ulta, but they sold out so fast, and I'm usually one of those people that like checks the Ulta website like every day for new makeup, and of course I missed it. Like the one day that I needed to be on point, I missed it, so it is what it is. <laughs> but I am pretty bummed that I didn't get to get on those right away, and honestly, again, that might be something that just lives on my wish list and dies on my wish list because I don't need another highlighter Ever. Like, I have so many highlighters. I'm good. I'm good. Next thing that is on my wish list is Lights Lacquer. Kathleen Lights' new nail polish brand launched on Friday, I think, or Thursday, one of those days. And oh my gosh, the new shades are gorgeous. I'm wearing a Lights Lacquer nail polish on my fingers right now. You guys, I have pretty much all the kale polish 
nail polishes. They're that good. So yeah, I'm so excited to try Lights Lacquer. Oh my gosh, so many beautiful shades. The shade Girl Power, the shade um, Heffa, I think is how you say it, and the shade 11. I just love that Kathleen does so many greens and blues. I know a lot of like traditional nail polish lines, they gravitate gravitate towards the reds and the pinks and stuff like that. So I'm so happy that Kathleen does so many greens and blues because like that's right up my alley. So I definitely have her, the collection, like the full set on my wish list because I just, I just know I'm going to love every shade on my nails. So excited for that. And then the last thing that is on my wish list is the is the Davina Sugar Drops collection. This one is launching on Black Friday. Oh my gosh, like I said, I'm obsessed with the inner corner highlights. And I just feel like these are going to be so gorgeous. And I have the Davina Exploders collection. My friend Vanessa Hot Mess Ness, such a sweetheart. She sent me them. They're right here, these ones. And they're so good and delicious that is on my list to purchase on black friday fingers crossed i'll be able to get my hands on those but that is everything for my makeup wish list i feel like it's short but not really because i feel like i've been sitting here talking for like a half an hour so i'm gonna end this video but let me know what's on your makeup wish list and thank you guys so much for watching thank you for supporting my channel and i will see you in my next video soon bye guys